very quick tutorial on how to combine HA data with RGB data. So here in PixInsight we have RG, uh, my RGB data open already. That's already stacked, it's about 3.7 hours long. And I took some HA data um, a few days ago. It's also 3.7 hours long. So we're going to combine them today. I'm going to show you how to do it. So first things first, we have only seven steps to go through and it's going to be very fast. It's about 10 minutes maybe without counting the loading every time. So first step, uh, we open the batch pre-processing script and we add bias, darks, uh, flats and lights. I don't have any flats, so for the sake of the tutorial and to speed, thing, speed things up, I only added 10 bias, 10 darks and about 15 lights. And yes, yeah, so it should be pretty fast to load. So, very important thing to do here is to calibrate only. We don't really want to do any uh, debayer or any registration. We just want to calibrate the files. Then we do not want to check CFA images and uh, the rest doesn't really matter. But the most important thing uh, here is to register uh, the reference image uh, should be one of your RGB single shots. So my RGB single shot looks like this. So I picked this, uh, this shot right here as my reference image. And output director, I just made a new one, just called it 123 Hello HA. So let's just run the script really fast. I know I don't have any flat frames, I know it's a shame. Let's continue anyway. So it should take a while, and let's wait. Oh, it's already done. That was pretty fun. Anyway. Okay. Okay, step one complete. So we can just exit this script. Okay. Now, step two is to do a split CFA. Now, what this does is it separates your the colors of your images um, by channel, I believe. So we only care about the red channel, right? So we want to add the files and simply add uh, let's go to one, two, three, hello, HA. You just want to add all the calibrated files. So all 15 of them, let's add them. And we're going to launch this instance. Just so you know, for your own refer reference, this is what one of my single shots looks like of balance loop with the HA filter on. And as you can see, it looks like crap, really bad. <laughs> but it's fine, it's going to be all fine with the power of stacking. Alright, that was pretty fast, 9 seconds. So this is done. Now, step 3, star alignment. Reference image, very important. The same image that you use for the script. One of the RGB images, very important. You will know why later. So just add your files here, which should have... Oh, it's actually in CFA0. CFA0 is the channel of the red uh, pixels, so we only care about the red. So we want those files, we don't want those ones. Those are different, we want the CFA0. So get the CFA0 for HA. And before you launch, make sure you uh, generate drizzle data. Not only will it make your stacking much easier later, it will also give you a better image and much better stars. So generate uh, drizzle data and launch. Step 3 complete, now we need to integrate those images, so go to image integration, by the way all those could be found in the processes um, menu here, all of them except for the first one, the last one which are in the scripts. So image integration, you can just add the files, it's really simple, just add the files, not those ones, you have to go back to the main uh, folder, it should be those ones right here, so see it's CFA zero it's calibrated and registered so we want those ones now do not forget to add also the drizzle files which are in the same folder it just adds a drz as drizzle uh, extension 
in one cell all selected you can just I believe yeah just don't change anything just punch it as simple as that okay that's done now is to be one two three four step five okay so those files here we don't care about I can just close them we do not care about uh, those ones because we need to do the drizzle integration first so here you can just add the files and just add the drizzle files the same ones as before because as you saw maybe in the uh, was it the console see it updated all the drizzle files to match uh, the ones now so just launch it and then we're almost done Okay, it's done. Um, I had to take a little break, but we're back here. So, we now have our new master light, so we can take this away. So we do not want this one, the weights we don't care about, we only care about the one right here. So we're going to stretch this, and there you go. So we went from uh, this to this, which is pretty good in 15 frames only. So now, all we have to do left is a few steps, it will take like maybe 3 minutes. So first one, dynamic crop. We want both images to have the same crop and same size, because we... I took those two shots, so the RGB and the HA, on two different nights. So we need to make sure that the crop is the same. As you can see when I do this right now, it pretty much lines up, but... The problem is this black band that we have here. So really quick, let's make a crop. Uh, let's see. So we want to take as much of the image as we want, as we can, without the black bands, which can be tricky. But just take your time. Okay, I can make a bit more on the right. Bit more on the bottom, uh, barely, and a bit more on the left. Okay, so before you press the green check mark, make sure you slide the the instance to the other image first, so it has the same crop, and then you can go back to this one and press the check mark. And now, if you do this, hopla, it's all the same size and the same crop. So now we want to make sure they are on top of each other. So we can quit the dynamic crop and before we do our final step, let's really fast do an ABE. The best thing to do would be a dynamic background extraction, so a DBE, but for the sake of the video, let's make it fast and do an ABE, which would be pretty good as well. So I'm going to do a subtraction, uh, let's replace right away, on both. And then we will do our final step, which is kind of exciting. Okay, it takes not too long. Okay, all right, on each. And then the final step is to combine those two as they are now ready. All right, just for the sake of making it beautiful, let's just stretch them again so it's not too confusing. Okay, okay. It's a bit too right okay perfect so last step guys uh, you go to script go to utilities and nb rgb combination that is the last step to do so what we want to do here is to select our rgb image which is the partner's loop result and our ha image which is the result integration we don't care about the g and b so just leave them like that uh, bandwidth for rgb i just used the max of so 200 and for the HA, the bandwidth of my filter is 12mm, so I'm going to put 12. And the scale, uh, I read that 1.2 is good for galaxies, but let's go with 4 for, for nebulae, and we'll see how it goes. And last click is to press NB RGB right here, and we're going to have a preview to see if we like it. And it is done! 
So as you can see now, this is the image combined. There are some really really weird colors, it's completely normal. There, this will be very fixable during the processing, the regular processing. And just press OK if you're happy with it. If you see it's properly combined. And that's it, that's our new image. And you just go from there. So I hope this uh, helped you guys. Uh, a really quick tip for the next step here would probably be to either do another DBE, maybe not. Um, most likely do a color calibration and a background authorization first, and then continue as always with your steps. And yeah, as you can see, it's combined. Thank you for watching, and let me know if you have any questions.